Welcome beautiful human or welcome back to my channel. I just spent a couple of weeks in beautiful Greece and I'm so happy and delighted to share this quick summer flow with you today. Just 10 minutes, a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a strengthening. So without any further ado, let's start our practice today. Let's get ahead and start at the end of your mat today. Take a big breath in as you reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, side bend to the right side. Big breath in, come back to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Good. Inhale, come back center. And then exhale, cactus your arms, reach the elbows back. Lift the gaze, take a big inhale. And on the next exhale, take a little twist to the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, back center, and then on your exhale, interlace the hands behind your back, roll the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then gently bend your knees, lift the gaze, open your heart space. Big breath in here, long breath out, fold forwards, keep the bend in the knees, drop the head. Big breath in, and a big breath out. Next inhale, straighten your legs, put the hands on your shins for your half lift. And on the exhale, bend the knees, drop the head, full forward fold. From here, you're gonna walk your hands forward, arriving into a plank pose. So stacking your wrists over your shoulders, squeezing the core, big breath in on your exhale, bend the knees and find your downward facing dog. Paddle out the feet by lifting one heel more than the other. Shake out your head. Maybe twisting the hips a little bit from left to right, whatever feels good right now. And just staying with your breath. And then root down through your left foot. So on your next inhale, lifting the right foot, three-legged dog, and then immediately opening the hips by kicking the right foot over to the left side. Circle out your ankle, maybe circle the knee, and then squeeze the knee into the chest to step your right foot forward between your hands. Drop the back knee and untuck the back toes. Roll the shoulders back, find your lunge. Inhale, bring the hands into the hips, come slightly higher, and on the exhale, release your hips down. Take a big breath in here, and a long breath out, and then interlace the hands behind your back again, finding a little bit of a back bend if that feels good, opening the front of your body. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, arms reach up, overhead. Exhale here. And then bring the palms together in front of your heart space. On your next inhale, lean slightly forwards. And then on your exhale, stacking the left elbow over your right leg to find a twist. Continue to allow your hips to drop down and keep the length through your neck. Breathe deep. And then very gently make your way back to the center by bringing the palms in front of your heart space again on your inhale and on your exhale release the hands down tuck your back toes lift your back knee and then on your next exhale sending the hips back for pyramid pose finding length through the spine again and if you want on your exhale bending a little bit deeper aiming at straightening the front leg squeezing the quads to keep the engagement and then bend the knee again step it back into your downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Big breath in here and a long breath out. Inhale again, coming forward into plank, dropping knees, chest and chin, keeping the gaze forward and then untucking the toes, rolling forward, bringing the pelvis on the mat, roll the shoulders back, keep the chin tucked in. Stay here, inhale, lifting slightly higher and then exhale, push back through child's pose, up into downward facing dog again. Root down through the right foot, left foot lifts, open hip, three-legged dog, 
circling out the ankle, making space in your hip. And then on the next inhale, squeezing the left knee into the chest, stepping the left foot forward, and then untucking the right toes, lunge. Also here, finding the length through the spine. Big breath in as you come up. Hands come into your hips, allow the hips to drop. Roll the shoulders back, find that opening in the frontal body. And then if you want, again, interlacing the hands, rolling the shoulders back, squeezing the hands down towards the mat. Feel the opening in your chest. Take a big breath in as you reach the arms up and a long breath out here. One more big breath in. And on the exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale as you lean slightly forward again. And exhale again, finding your twist by bringing the right arm or elbow on the outer edge of the left leg. Aiming to stack the elbows and keeping the neck super long. Breathe steady. Allow the hips to drop and feel that foundation through your feet. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, hands down on the mat. Lift your back knee. Exhale as you push back, pyramid pose. Again, if you want, on every exhale, leaning slightly forward. Inhale, finding the length through the back. And exhale to fold. Next inhale, bending the front knee again. Hands under the shoulders to step back in your downward facing dog. Big breath in as you come forward into plank. Exhale, knees down, half chaturanga. Inhale, rolling the shoulders back, cobra. And then gaze over your left shoulder. And gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center, find the lift. And then exhale, shift everything back into balasana. Take some deep breath here, reconnecting to your breath, to your heartbeat. Feeling the grounding effect of this pose. And then gently pivot slightly forward, stacking hips over knees. Walk the hands out a little bit further and then drop down into puppy pose, Anahatasana, by melting your forehead down into the mat. Feel the opening of your shoulders, the stretch of your back. And just breathe into this pose. Take one more big breath in. And one more big breath out. And then gently gaze back up. Squeeze the glutes down towards your heels one more time for child's pose. And then bring the hands towards your lower back. Possibly interlacing the hands again as you pull yourself up and stack your shoulders over your hips again. Feel the opening of your heart space one more time. And then on the next inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, place the palms together. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, hands in front of your heart center, thumbs touch your chest. Reflect on this short little practice, how you feel today. What you are grateful for today and how you want to move through the rest of this day. Thank yourself for showing up for yourself today by taking a couple more deep breaths, just feeling the presence, this moment right here. And gently open your eyes again. Big breath in as you lift the crown of the head. Exhale, chin to chest. Thank you so much for practicing with me this morning or at whatever time you practice this flow. It means the world if you could like this video, comment below, or just subscribe to my channel so we can continue to practice together. I hope to see you again soon. Take care.